Alrighty, boys. Oh, holy shit, did it break? Ah, oh, damn. That's, that's really... Wait, what? That makes no sense. I had to, like, alt tab out in order to get it working. Oh, well, whatever. I'll take it. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Alright. I am ready to lag the fuck out. Let me just keep an eye on my frames. Oh, no frame drops yet, that's a good start here. I think this is the current save here. Yeah. Down to play uh, UFO in Russia. And I have no idea what we're doing. Yeah, so we just got the tank completed. We took it on a mission, I think? Maybe two missions? I don't remember. But things have been going pretty swell, the research has been going well. Um, taking a lot of live aliens, which is good, I guess. Except I don't remember how many you can hold in alien containment, so maybe I've actually been killing them by taking them alive. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while since I last played this. All the final points I've kind of just forgotten. We spawned in the middle of the map, which is kind of garbage. And we... oh, there's the UFO. Okay, that helps. Like, I'll let the tank just, like, keep an eye on the UFO. And then everyone else can try and not die. To all the dangerous things out here. Ah, uh, that didn't quite get this area, which I wanted. Um, I guess he'll survive a few hits though. You can try it. Oh god damn it! I was hoping that was the corner of the map, but maybe this is the corner of the map. Yeah. All right. So if we clear out this building, then we're pretty safe. And that's the corner there. So we should probably focus fire that building, and hopefully we'll be okay after that. Since um, I don't have power suits and everyone, I'm gonna mix it up in terms of allocation. I have two power suits on each team and split the team in two. Honestly, I might keep these guys in the ship just in case someone's shooting me from the building or something. The power suits can probably take a hit, the personal armor probably can't. Quite a lot of movement. Alright, so... Yeah, I guess I'll just get the tank to sit there. Put a couple guys... Actually, no, I can get the tank to sit here, like where they can still see it. And then... Maybe a couple guys like over here? Is that far enough away? Probably just make sure there's nothing up there. Alright, that looks pretty safe. But yeah, these guys can probably fire back. Um, I'll keep Clint there. For now, oh, so I guess I'll split the team in three. Clint will be there. Um, and he'll be looking at that building there. And then I'll get very Mary Sue, Mary Sue the third, to lead the strike team on the building. And hopefully they don't get gunned down from above. Like, the terrain is pretty bad. Having a building right there. Because it means the smoke isn't that effective. If they're just elevated. Okay, so it's sectoids. Oh, tank's fine, that's good. Oh 
Oh my god. Seriously. Oof. That's rough. We didn't see it because we turned the corner not diagonally. And they died despite having a power suit. Now they can't party anymore. Um. So I'm guessing we saw them through the window, which means they can fire at us back through the window, so I'm going to get out of the window line of sight. And because they died in a power suit, that means they probably have a heavy plasma, which is problematic. Um, yeah, I might get Clint to help out. and pull these guys back a little bit. Actually, I could rocket the side of the building. Oh, then I lose the equipment. Um, I don't remember if you retrieve power suits from corpses. Like if you retrieve armor from corpses of your own guys. I don't want to risk it though. Perfect. That was a really good reaction shot. And the tanks... Ooh, the tanks are a little bit beat up. That was only a rifle. Must have RNG'd a good hit. Uh, I'm willing to risk the tank. Not really, actually. The Donald Trump will give the tank some smoke cover. <laughs> And we'll get people into position instead. Oh, what the hell? There's a dude in a field. Alright. No land of fire blocked by probably the landing gear, so you can just move one down. Still no land of fire. That's weird. Maybe the um, stone fence is blocking the line of fire. Because I'm pretty sure it's not the wooden fence. Alright, so this guy's on fire. Nice. So I guess it was the um, stone fence. so we don't have to worry about it. There we go. Get back to watching the... Interesting. Alright. Yeah, that looks like heavy plasma. Um... Chibi has the worst stats. These stats aren't too bad. Yeah, also not too bad. Alright, so none of these guys are that bad. Let's get Armin to take the first shot. And we'll see how we go. I haven't dropped any frames, which is good. It's prioritizing um, the stream over the game, which is why sometimes the shots are slow, like they sort of lag out. But that's fine. Key for Neil. Um, I guess I will start thinking about clearing this building out completely. While I just get my guys to reaction shot on the UFO itself. 
truth, I hope there's no one in the trees. That would be awful. Alright. So we'll just get our guys looking through the window a little bit. While Quinn gets ready to move up the stairs. I'm worried about this tank getting shot from around the corner, actually. No, I'm not. Alright. And we're clear. So, I'll just bust out of here. And everyone can group up again. I should've got him to sprint. Oh, he made it anyway, but still should have gone into sprint. There we go, I'm in sprinted. He lost most of his stamina, but at least he got there. So the last one's probably just the UFO. Maybe another in the building down there, but... Where we keep moving up, especially with um, my last power suit. Just clear the line of fire out. Oh, I don't know if that means never mind. I think when they kneel, the fence gets in the way of their shot. Jeez, that's a pretty bad shot. Oops. Uh, maybe we'll get these guys to defense too. Get real close, buddy. He actually got hurt from that. God damn it. Yeah, that should do it. He's got a firing squad ready to go, and the tank will go explore the building. Face back to the UFO in case someone comes out. Who gets the front armor? Right, so I'm pretty confident at this stage that they're only in the UFO. Um. So I guess we'll just crowd around it for now. And we'll get ready to move in next turn. I don't like how many time units those guys spent, but I'll live. This guy's pretty vulnerable if they open the door. But they didn't, so all's well. Get a stun out. Interesting. Right. We want someone with pretty good reactions to be inside. V8 is pretty good. 60 is also pretty good. So 34 is not good enough to get inside. Because I don't want them firing first. And then us just getting blown out of the sky. Alright, um... Got both sides of the door. 
or go sides of the door, both doors, and get ready to breach. Breach. That was boring. Um, breach. Hello. I don't know how many there are. So I'm gonna pull this guy back. I'll try and get Bruno to take the shot. And then he can fall back. I am pretty lucky that ended that well. Uh, drop that and heal your friend. There you go, nearly got as near. And drop that as well, I guess. I'm surprised they couldn't reaction shot. 53, 37. 53 should have been enough. Ah, oh, the core's blown. Oof, so two wounded and we lost we lost Mary Sue. So we're out of Mary Sue's now, <laughs> god damn it. They've all been expended. No mind probe either. Improved interceptor, perfect. So this this craft is actually a mod. It's not in the base game, um, but I personally think it makes a lot of sense. And I don't think it's like game breaking. I don't think it's as powerful as some of the existing things in the game. Because it doesn't it doesn't get any. Oh, it gets like a tiny bit faster because it can be made out of slightly lighter materials, but. The basic design is still just an interceptor. The main balance concern with it is that it doesn't have an upkeep cost. So in theory it should cost a shit ton to build. I think it's too cheap. I think that's the only complaint I have about it. Because with the interceptors, you have to keep paying for them because you're like hiring them. You're, you're hiring them from the US military or something, the US Air Force I guess. And with the Retaliator, you build it yourself so you don't have to do that. It's kind of cheap. It's like going through my live aliens. While I'm here... Alien containment. 10 alien life forms. Okay. So... I should have a bunch of live aliens still. I don't know what the problem is. Unless I've only captured navigators and engineers and medics. Which is possible, but seems unlikely. I'm happy to use stun rods for now. Um... None of these really stand out as being that important. Maybe a good plasma rifle. Get plasma weapons for our guns. Guns. Wow. Uh, get plasma weapons for our ships. Yeah, get them. Small one. <laughs> Look at those laggy missile shots. Aren't they beautiful? Alright, we should probably buy a new soldier. While we're here. Oh, and I forgot to look up the name of someone. Someone asked me to name one of my soldiers something, and it was a complicated name, and I've forgotten it. And I have it written down somewhere. So I guess I'll have to do that next time. 
Ooh, so many injured dudes. Uh, we get keys back. Maybe hand will stay out. I might take Clint off as well. Maybe take the other hand off too. So that the rookies get a bit more experience. I'll take their power suits off for now. I need to start shipping the extra equipment to my other bases as well. How's manufacturing going? Ooh, very slowly. Rifles will be done in f five and a bit days, but the rest will take ages to finish. Before I do that, let's just make sure the equipment in the sky range is fine. Not armor equipment. Alright. Yeah, so someone doesn't have a gun. There you go, have a gun. And a stun rod. And some grenades, because why not? Oops. Oops. Alright. Extra equipment for everyone. Oh, I mean, you have a rocket launcher, you're probably never going to use all these sidearms very much. Sidearms. Equipment. Because there's no, there's no hands to use it with. I think I overdid the smoke grenades. Because this playthrough, I'm not using them as much as I usually would. Which might sound weird considering I'm using them quite a lot, but... I used to smoke a lot more than I do. Like this playthrough, I'm, I'm playing quite recklessly, to be honest, because the difficulty is just not high enough yet that it really matters. I can like... stick around a little bit and it's okay. If you play at max difficulty... And you use these tactics, it hurts a bit more. Especially once um, the aliens get tougher. Wait. Oh, I thought I saw personal armor, but I must have been seeing things. Oh, perfect. The UFO's there, and we're in a corner. Lovely. Uh, the tank can't fit through there, so I'm gonna push it over here. And just smoke out these areas. Uh, maybe smoke here. Because I have four primed grenades, so I can afford to smoke quite a bit. And then I'll chuck another one into the trees just to the left. And the last one will go to the right. Into the hedges. There we go. So we have seven power suits, that's not bad. Although I'm I'm already teched up to on flying suits. I guess technically I'm like <laughs> still catching up on tech. I'll leave the rookies well rookies. Not necessarily rookies, but the guys with less armor at the back. Just so in slightly less danger. A door and a short turn. That looks like the door. I 
kind of say go inside. Yeah, it's playing out. Um, so just hang around. Backed up by your squad of personal armors. rocket launch to the side of the building. That gives a better view while also smoking it. Oh god. Well, he didn't take damage, so we might be able to stun him. If any of you has a stun rod. But you don't. You probably do. Perfect. Uh, we just need someone to... Clear out the terrain for him. Well, okay. I got someone to clear out the terrain for this guy. Dude, this piece of rock is invulnerable. Um, and they will clear the terrain for my other guy. Try to clear out the terrain for my other guy. <laughs> okay, well, your reactions are okay, and you didn't take damage, and it looks like it's a pistol, so. Come on, guys. It's a fence. I guess that's good enough. Two. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a pistol as well. That's fine. Just blank this guy, and then look at the other guy so he doesn't kill you. Pistol I'm pretty sure will never kill someone with power armor. It might injure them, but I don't think it will ever kill them. So I'm just going to use this guy as um, reactions practice. Because I'm mean, I guess. Um, you can keep looking to the trees just in case someone's there. And you can advance forward and get some reactions training. Except not really, because you're actually out of time units. And those guys will just have to stay there. Got him, boys. And I'll just check to see if anyone got wounded, which will let me know. Yeah, not wounded. So the that last hit didn't do any damage, because no one got wounded. Oh, I researched the party ship. The party ship has a canoe for large alien party toys or animals. It is used to transport these alien party goers into populated areas. So it's a terror ship. But of course, terror is a terror is a big bad word. So you just rename everything in the files to party and party goers, and it's a lot more appealing. This aliens trying to have a good time, man. Leave them alone. But seriously, what happened to all my other live aliens? I'm so confused. Whatever. Hmm, I doubt I can catch that. Dude, it's going so fast. As long as I'm covering the major cities, I think that's fine. There's my patrol there. Sumaya Haddad. Interesting name. I don't think there's anything here. Hello. A medium? What did medium craft do? I think medium craft or abduction craft exclusively. Just in case I can't take it out with one, I'll send two. I don't remember how tanky medium ships are. 
close if I miss the missiles, obviously they do no damage. Da -da -da. No, crash landed on the last tower. Good, good. So you can go home. And we can sell some stuff to get more money, because otherwise we're going to go broke. <laughs> the life of the UFO defense force. Seriously, the laser cannon tanks are so expensive to build. I'm so bummed about that. Lovely. Uh, equal priority on both. I think is the way to go. Alright. Time to send some dudes. Well, let's stay time. Because in nighttime combat, everything sucks because you can't see anything, but aliens have amazing vision and can see everything, and they just. They poop on your face, and it's awful. Unless you're into that, in which case it's probably amazing. What is that? I didn't recognize the silhouette. This is a snake man. Oh, it's a psychoid. Man, my tank doesn't care that it got hit by plasma weapons. Ugh, oh, what a day to be alive. Aliens use the best technology to shoot a tank and it just doesn't care. Yeah, you shoot me. Alright. You guys know the drill. I need to smoke the other one out first as well. Now we can start shooting them. Sixteen, so you can get a bit closer and then shoot. No, nope, no you can't. You turn too far. Okay. Well, we hit the tree. I I guess that's kind of slightly better than not hitting anything. Because trees and aliens, I mean, they're basically the same thing. Anything that isn't human, we can basically just call an alien. Keep life simple. Uh, this guy's a lot of time units, and I don't know why. All for naught because he missed his shots. Alina, let's get it on. And he's down. We're just gonna chill here and wait for the AoE to destroy us. Maybe they'll throw a grenade, maybe they have blasters. Hell, maybe they'll just stun us all. In any case, this is a recipe for disaster. It's delicious, so we'll do it anyway. Mostly I'm just lazy. I don't think we have blasters yet either. It's quite a lot of movement. That is a lot of movement, holy shit. Have sigh. <sighs> they have sigh. That's bad. Sigh is the reason I use laser weapons. Because if they mind control your guys, you don't want them firing with something that hits harder than the armor. If you have only laser weapons, then at least um, you don't have to worry about your guys. Oh, holy shit. I must have mind controlled his morale. Not mind controlled his morale. There's like there's, there's two things you can do. Three things you can do with Psy. You can find out who someone is, which it's just, you know, it literally just finds out their like um like their rank and like their stats. Like these. Um you can make them 
lose morale. Like this guy, he lost morale. Or you can mind control them. And mind control is the hardest to do. But obviously the most powerful. Because hey, mind controlling is pretty strong. But only f like these these sectoids, like the grey dudes, only their most powerful ranks, like the highest rank guys, can use those powers. Which means there's a high ranking dude on board the ship. And because the turn was so long, that shows that there's a lot of dudes around. Which is pretty concerning. Like look how long that They actually just mind controlled him out, right? Wow. That's pretty awful. Now we have to start looking at our own guys. Uh, Alright. Come on, Kamayaka, you can do it. I believe in you. Well, you hit the, you hit the fence. You hit the ground right in front of him twice in a row. You made him real scared. You hit the fence next to him. Oh my god. Alright. Okay, you drop the rocket launcher in case you get mind controlled. I can't afford that collateral damage. I assume you're seeing, yeah, you're seeing the guy who got mind controlled. <laughs> He's not seeing an actual alien. I can't move from this location, because otherwise my guy's gonna shoot me in the back and that might actually do some damage. Uh, there's a lot of map here to clear, and a lot of aliens inside. Should do. Hi, how's it going? Good, thanks. Hi, how's it going? Kind of expected him to die. Oh god. <laughs> so many shots. He's gone berserk. So this guy must have awful side defense. And they also tried it on someone this guy. God damn it. Oh hello. Armin, take him out. No line of fire. Make line of fire. Damn. Nice shot. And then run away, because you're scared. Get these guys to move up a little. And maybe spread out slightly. <laughs> Just to reduce the chance that we all get screwed over. Get him to face outwards just in case there's a guy over there. And I'll destroy this defense. If we can hit it. It's not going very well. Mm, okay. Good enough, whatever. One thing with the Psy is that the enemy must have line of sight on one of your guys. Alright. I think he's throwing smoke grenades at us. I don't have actual grenades. 
He's going back because he wants the party. Yeah. The best thing I have is proximity grenades, and I'm pretty sure you don't activate those accidentally. You have to activate them via movement. Movement? Movement. Motion. Oh, shit. Well, I'm glad he did not get shot. Do you have line of sight? Yes. Right, one down. See the second? You don't see this guy here. That's odd. He sees this guy. I don't know why, but let's shoot him. He has one more shot, a snap. But uh, this guy does not see us, so we'll go for this guy first. And you're a rookie, so your aiming is terrible. And of course, as I say that, you prove me wrong. Thanks. Um, I'll get... He's not blocking line of fire too badly. I'll try and get him to... Perfect. Alright. Yeah, this is basically what I, how I want it. Alien shoots tank. Tank survives. Alien dies. There's still guys outside. Holy crap, how... How many of them are there in that building? And is my guy hurt? No. Good. That looks like a laser rifle. Try and get the rookie to take the shot. Perfect. Go pick up your gun, you wuss. Actually, he, got, he was my, not mind controlled, he was attacked psionically. I mean, I mean that's pretty scary. So, I, I guess I'll give him a pass. Sectoid soldier is panicking. But they still have line of sight. It's gone berserk. Need to move there. Um. God damn! I don't know what to do. I don't know where they're getting line of sight from. It was like we would see them come out of the craft. Okay. So that guy's going berserk. But they're still somehow my controlling us. Which means I still have line of sight. So... I don't know, maybe this build... No, there was doors. We heard doors. Like, human doors, not alien doors. So I'll see someone outside in a building somewhere. The guys are still panicking. We have denied him his partying and now he's going insane. Is there a building up here? Yes, there is. Alright. The mystery of the non alien door solved. Good God. What is this accuracy? Hey. <laughs> right. I still have line of sight. Damn it. We just panicked. Um, 
I guess if I keep my guys out here, they'll see into the building if they're there. It's just, you know, they'll get shot if the aliens are there. Which is a bit of a concern. Get my tank to keep exploring this building. Oh, hello. Another guy right behind. Time to redeem yourself. I believe in you. Oh, got him. And killing the, the aliens also restores morale, so... Double bonus. They have an engineer and a leader on side the ship. On side, on board the ship, inside the ship. One of these days, someone's gonna get hurt. From all this random shooting. But it's not today. At least not yet. Eh, yeah, you can just sit there and... Oh, there's another guy. Of course there's another guy. Alright. On a guy, take out the other guy. I believe in you. You can do it. No. Some of those were vaguely in the right direction. Got to muck Underwood with his... His firing accuracy is actually abysmal, so I don't know how he landed that other shot. Make line of fire. You can do it, I believe in you. I don't believe in you anymore. Oh my god. Alright, try again. Try again. Yeah, we opened up a better line of fire. But it's still not adequate. <laughs> Our friend reaction shot at us. Alright, that, that was actually pretty good. Now there's like good line of fire. We're asking a lot for these shots though. Especially from this guy who's a rookie. <laughs> oh, that's, that wasn't too bad. The other shot was pretty bad though. Ooh. Oh, no, those are all too high. Ah, the third shot was pretty abysmal. Alright. I want Neil Diamond to keep his reaction shot available. Armin, take the wheel. First hit. This guy's just showing off. Alright, keep looking at that building. Take the with navigator, so navigator, leader, engineer, all aboard the ship. I think there's a medic in there too. So it's time to start. You're just gonna panic, you don't deserve to be on board. Um, it's time to start going to assault. I'll get these guys to sprint. So they get in position in time. I still have line of sight somehow, and this guy is apparently a target as well. Actually, anyone here? No. Alright. Move up, fellas. There's someone there, I want to see them.
this beautiful map display. Alright. They're still seeing us somehow. Oh. He's panicked. He doesn't have a weapon. Bye bye. And I'll these two inside. Just in case someone comes down the the elevator, the lift. This is a gravity elevator. Hello, he's panicked and he has no gun. That looks like a cow. Um yeah, we don't need to worry about him. We just need to worry about someone coming down this elevator. We can just like go stun him later. No, no, what are you doing? Oh my god. Do you have a stun rod by chance? No. Do one of you have a stun rod you can throw to the other side of the map? Yes. Alright, sprint as close to the UFO as you can. And next turn you'll throw the stun rod. You guys can just clear this building, clear, perfect. So everyone else is on board the UFO. This most health. You do. That's awkward. Up we go. that way. Ugh, you guys are the worst. Mind controlled, great. Now we're standing in the doorway. Dude, that's just rude. <laughs> Are you injured? No, excellent. And you have a stun rod now. The hell did he go? That's concerning. This is the medic. There must be a leader. Oh, you have the stun rod, man. Hello. Well, that answers that question. As long as the guy with the stun rod is fine. Which he is, of course, not. Why did a grenade go off? Alright, you're back. Stun him. Lovely. They're still seeing us somehow. That's weird. Oh, maybe this area is open. I don't know. Anyway. No, you can just stay there. How are they seeing us? I don't understand. Uh, he has a gun. That's bad. Let's let's solve this problem. 
You nearly messed that one up, dude. <laughs> no more Psy. So either they lost line of sight, or that was the guy with Psy powers. Oh no, that goes down. Oh my god. Why does that go down? What sort of ship design is this? Oh, whatever. All aboard. And you should give them your stun rod. So we can capture that guy alive. Or those guys, depending on how many there are. No, the stun rods are together, that's a bad idea. Stun rods should be separate. They didn't go berserk, they actually are shooting us. So again, somehow they have line of sight, but they didn't land any shots. Hello. I'm guessing it was that guy. Who will now fall asleep. I hope. There we go. Oh, that's it. Alright. 